If you've ever dreamed of finding real natural gemstones in the wild, this video is for you. Today, I'll share real science-based tips on how people search for precious stones like diamonds, sapphire, topaz, tourmaline, and many other valuable crystals in nature. These are educational insights about geology where gemstones form and what signs to look for when exploring. Let's begin. First, gemstones are not found randomly. They form in very specific geological environments. So before searching, it's important to understand where gemstones are most likely to exist. Many gemstones are created deep underground under high pressure and heat. Over millions of years, erosion, volcanic activity, and tectonic movement bring them closer to the surface. That's why people often explore mountain regions, ancient volcanic areas, riverbeds, and old mining zones. These locations have the highest chance of exposing natural crystals. One of the best places to search is around riverbeds and stream gravels. Flowing water naturally washes and concentrates heavy minerals. Just like gold settles in riverbends, gemstones can also collect in similar areas. Look in slow-moving parts of streams, especially behind rocks and inside cracks, because heavier stones tend to get trapped there. But remember, always respect local laws and private lands before searching. Another key area is volcanic terrains and igneous rock zones. Many gemstones such as diamonds, peridot, topaz, and some types of sapphire are often connected to volcanic activity. When magma cools, it can trap minerals inside crystal pockets. Over time, weathering breaks the rock and releases the gems. So rocky hills, cliffs, and volcanic soil areas can be really promising locations. Now let's talk about what gemstones actually look like in nature, because real stones do not look like polished jewelry. Raw gemstones are usually rough, not perfectly shiny, and many look like ordinary stones until cleaned. Diamonds in nature can look like cloudy glass or transparent pebbles. Sapphire can appear dull and coated with dirt. Quartz, amethyst, tourmaline, and topaz often form inside cracks or veins in rocks. A very important sign is transparency and crystal shape. If a stone allows light to pass through or has sharp crystal faces, it may be worth checking. Another great tip, gemstones are often found with other indicator minerals. For example, garnet, magnetite, mica, and quartz can suggest gemstone-rich geology. If you see sparkling sand, small crystals in rocks, or unusually heavy stones compared to their size, you may be in a productive area. It's also important to understand that not every shiny stone is valuable. Many rocks sparkle but have no gem value. That's why learning to identify stones is important. With practice, your eyes get better. You can also carry simple tools such as a small magnifying lens, a flashlight to test transparency, and a pocket scale. But again, always stay safe, never damage protected environments, and always follow legal rules where you live. Another method people use is searching around old mines or historical gemstone locations. Many regions in America, Canada, and Europe have official gemstone fields, where visitors are legally allowed to search. In the United States, for example, people search in states like North Carolina, Montana, Arkansas, Colorado, and Alaska. In Europe, gemstones are found in countries like Norway, Finland, Scotland, Germany, and parts of Eastern Europe. Canada is also known for diamonds, especially in northern regions. The best part is, many of these locations are open to the public and educational, but remember, safety always comes first. Never explore dangerous caves, deep mines, or unstable cliffs. Avoid going alone to remote areas, and always respect nature. The goal is to learn, discover, and enjoy the adventure, not to take risks. So can ordinary people actually find gemstones? Yes, it happens. Many people around the world have discovered incredible stones while hiking, farming, fishing, or exploring outdoors. Some discoveries even became famous and sold for thousands or millions of dollars. But the truth is, gemstone hunting requires patience, knowledge, and a bit of luck. The most important thing is the experience itself. Searching for gemstones connects you with nature, geology, and the beauty of the earth. Every stone you find has a story that took millions of years to form, and that is priceless. If you enjoyed this information and want more real facts about precious stones, rare minerals, and natural discoveries, make sure to like the video, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, if you had the chance to search for a gemstone anywhere in the world, where would you go? Thanks for watching and see you in the next adventure.